So call in all thrill seekers, the scare at Town Square experience is coming soon. And once it opens, it's going to be a pop-up attraction promising chills mm. for everyone from the mild to the wild. <laughs> I, I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> Hector Mejia live at Town Square. What's going on out there, Hector? Hi, Hector. Well, good morning, Nate and Alex. We are here to show you around. Once it opens, 15,000 square feet of space to spook you around. So let's show you what we have here. We have different areas on top of the mazes and the rooms they have downstairs. They have little rooms or booths where you can sit down and take some Instagram photos. Joining us live, we have Mark, who was hired from the world of the unknown. Mark is here to help us wake up Dante. Dante, good morning, sir. So, Mark, tell us about the pop-up experience here. We have several rooms. Yes, as you know, most of our uh, folks like to be on social media these days, so we've got little Instagrammable sets and social media sets for people to come and take photos and videos of themselves having a little bit of fun. This next room you're about to see is only for people or humans who have guts. Yes, absolutely. Those who have guts and like to sit down at the poker table and possibly lose everything that they've got. So once you're here, you immerse yourself into the world of the unknown. Once you open, the experience will last until November the 3rd. Yes, we were looking uh, to, to last until November the 3rd and uh, hopefully keep a, a great experience for Las Vegas and those traveling to Las Vegas to come get an exciting experience. And this experience is just one of two levels, several different rooms. We have one over here that is an escape experience. Correct, yes, straight out of a horror-themed film. We've got the Zoe escape experience where they can come in and get some frightful moments and hopefully solve a few things and make their way out. Without giving too much, tell us a little bit about this room. Uh, so, if you're familiar with anything that likes to crawl, uh, you know, hide their face, and particularly unknown and undead, uh, we've got Zoe, who's trying to make her way through the house and, and get out. So you're in here trying to let her escape, trying to get her out of the house. What happened to Zoe? Well, we're not quite sure. All we know is she was tortured and trapped in her room, and uh, she'd like to make her way out. All right, Mark, so we're going to move our way and show different areas in the next hour. For now, reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now. Well, Back to you guys. Well, I hope Zoe doesn't that, find you yeah. in this time that we don't see you, Hector. <laughs> kind of unsettling, Hector. Uh, watch your back, man. Oh, what a creepy room.